Nepal is an emerging hotspot for outsourcing. In the past decade, there's been exponential growth in the number of IT companies in Nepal. And many of these companies are handling sensitive data from around the world. In the digital age, every industry in the world are harnessing big data, creating a lucrative market for data analytics. Sensitive data are especially valuable and are protected by strict laws. In the European Union, for instance, such data is protected by the General Data Protection Regulation, and in the USA, laws like the California Consumer Privacy Act and the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act regulate the responsible and secure use of sensitive data. U.S. healthcare analytics, for instance, is one of the fastest growing IT domains in Nepal. As of 2023, more than eight companies with a total of 1,500 plus employees are currently working on sensitive healthcare data. This is data that includes personally identifiable information such as the name, address, social security number, credit card number, medical records, and other sensitive data that are strictly confidential. Any data leaks or mishandling of such data besides the specified use case outlined by the US Constitution can lead to lawsuits amounting to millions of dollars in fines. So how does Nepal navigate such strict global laws to successfully outsource secure IT services? The answer, data clean rooms. These are facilities equipped with multiple layers of physical and logical security measures. They ensure sensitive data can only move in and out of controlled areas through a secure channel, abiding by legal and contractual restrictions. Using these data clean rooms, remote teams can generate valuable insights and analytics for global industries from Nepal. But how does it work? To understand how data clean rooms work, let's take a look at how TechCraft Inc. has implemented data clean rooms in Nepal starting from the outermost layer, which is physical security. This layer consists of physical barriers, guards, surveillance, and a range of other physical safety nets. Firstly, walls and fences surround the perimeter of the facility and guards are stationed at gated entry points. Security guards work in shifts, monitoring the premises 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Employees must bring their assigned ID cards to gain entry. They are required to wear them visibly at all times within the premises. After passing through the gate, surveillance cameras keep track of all movements in and around the premises. The windows to the facility are obscured with privacy shields, blurring vision from either side. Lockers are available outside the clean room for employees to keep their personal devices and belongings. Smartphones, cameras, laptops, pen drives, or any other audiovisual recording devices are strictly banned inside the clean room. Biometrics are installed in both sides of the clean room door. Employees need to use fingerprint scans to enter and exit the secured area. Tailgating is strictly prohibited. The door must be closed between each person before using their biometrics to gain and log access. This is where the second layer of security is implemented. The access control layer ensures only authorized personnel can access the clean room. Other secured areas like server room and surveillance room also require special authorization to enter. Employees are also restricted access to the facility outside of dedicated time slots or designated work shifts. Security measures like biometrics and passwords are implemented to control authorization and provide varying degrees of privilege. After entering the data clean room, employees have dedicated work laptops and basic phones assigned to them, kept in locker units inside the clean room. Multi-factor authentication, such as an SMS passcode on their basic phones as well as strong passwords are needed to access these laptops. 3. Network Security The clean room contains a logical grouping of devices on a network called Virtual Local Area Network. It is used to segment devices in order to improve network security or to optimize network performance. For example, devices that handle sensitive data are placed on a separate VLAN to isolate them from the rest of the network. VLANs can be configured in a variety of ways depending on the specific requirements of the clean room and the devices that are connected to it. Firewalls are deployed to this network to control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. It protects the clean room's network from unauthorized access or attacks. Additionally, a firewall can be configured to limit access to certain network resources, further enhancing the security of the clean room. 
4. Data Protection At the innermost security layer of the data clean rooms are various data protection mechanisms. Data loss prevention is implemented in work devices and corporate tools that are used inside the clean room to prevent unauthorized transmission of sensitive data. It can be used to monitor and detect when sensitive data is being accessed or transmitted and also be configured to block or restrict access to sensitive data if necessary. It prevents the accidental or unauthorized transmission of that data via emails, external storage devices, and other mechanisms. After all these layers are deployed to create an isolated environment, the work laptops can securely access sensitive data. The sensitive data is transmitted to the data clean room through a virtual private network, VPN, which encrypts the data in transit, ensuring it cannot be intercepted or compromised during transmission. This encrypted data is only readable through a VDI in work devices. The VDI, or Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, is a technology that allows authorized personnel to access a virtualized desktop environment from a remote device, such as a laptop or server of the employers in any part of the world. The VDI is what enables the data clean rooms to provide a secure and isolated environment for accessing and processing sensitive data. Finally, after the data is transformed into standardized information, valuable insights and analytics, data sanitization is carried out. At the end of project life cycles, storage drives of work devices are securely erased and formatted. Meanwhile, paper documents are shredded to leave no trace of sensitive data after sanitization. These are some of the many multi-layered security measures implemented in data clean rooms, and many more security measures are deployed as per client requirements. There is one more final layer of security that encompasses all other security layers, which is the compliance, auditing, and monitoring layer. This layer ensures all security layers of a data clean room are functional, secure, and compliant to international standards. Various policies are implemented, documenting guidelines, training employees to be security compliant, to strictly regulate and maintain all physical and logical security measures, monitoring is done to track access and incident response teams are in standby to make sure any security issues are resolved as soon as they emerge. Power backup is one of the key fail-safes implemented to protect critical data infrastructure. If the utility power faces outages, UPS and inverters maintain continuous power supply with zero delay until diesel generators go online for more backup power. These are some of the many systems and processes ensuring full compliance to applicable data security laws. External auditors for ISO, HITRUST and SOC2 also get involved to certify facilities that qualify to International Data Security Protocol. ISO 2701 is an example of a certificate awarded to facilities that meet all required safety standards. They make sure everything from policy to infrastructure are systematic, safe and up to standards with follow-up checks of certified facilities on regular intervals. All of these security measures unlock Nepal's potential to be a global hub of outsourcing IT services, keeping the world's data safe with integrity, confidentiality and accountability.